Hello everyone, I'm super happy today to present to you the new mower from Mimotion, the Luba 3 AWD. It will work with LiDAR and its camera without antenna and without subscription. Will the precision be there? What are the improvements? And will it be more interesting compared to the Luba 2? Here are the improvements. The charging contacts on Luba 2 were completely flat, whereas on LUBA3, they are contacts that stick out a little more. You understood it. We have the LiDAR module, which is here. It is a laser beam that will map your garden by calculating the distance between the robot and the environment. Already, the cutting disks are totally different compared to version 2. We find six blades, a lot of space between the blade and the edge of the robot. We have a small hatch that can be easily opened. Mimotion has also gathered all the accessories directly in this box, and the most important, the safety key. Without it, the robot will not be able to work. Two protections for the edges of the robot, and this time, we will be able to remove them easily. The big novelty as well, it exists in a 1500 version for gardens of 1500 square meters, and we are going to check live. Under this hatch, we have various cables, and certainly the battery that is located underneath. We also have small fins, I think, to better dissipate the grass. A few small new things on the charging station. Notably, these contacts, which are much bigger, quite solid. Mimotion leaves us the possibility to install an RTK antenna. We quickly connect to the application. We will therefore start by defining a map. The robot is positioning itself. So here, it will be up to us to outline the garden. We can vary the speed at the same time as we map. We will first test in this small garden, not very complex, but it will allow us to see if it already works well. And then I will bring it into a large garden with bumps, holes, and slope. To map, we place ourselves at the edge of the lawn and press start while leaving about three to four centimeters on the edges. The mapping is finished. We will be able to start the first mowing. I will show you a bit more details of the application just after. The big novelty is that here, we can go up to one meter per second. Before, we were limited to 0.6 meter per second. Now we can go much faster. I already wanna see if the robot will follow the perimeter. Will it manage? There, already, it passes exactly at the place where I told it to pass. And that feels good. The precision, for now, is perfect. Even without antenna, with the LiDAR above, it manages very well to locate itself, and it passes exactly where we told it. It will not go venture onto the road. It knows very well where the zone is. To avoid tearing everything out, the robot will turn in several times. It moves forward, it will reverse, and turn each time. That allows to tear up the lawn less. It has not quite finished. Honestly, the mowing, there is nothing to say. It just left me a bit in the middle, and, in fact, there, I was filming, so it outlined me, it detected me as an object. It stuck a little there, because the grass is very wet, but nothing more. The six blades per deck really do the job. We will look together at the precision at the charging level. Perfect. You have the robot link in the description, and you can benefit from a 50 euro discount. Now that we have seen in a small garden what it looked like, we are going to see in a large garden of more or less 2,000 square meters and see especially if it is suitable for large areas. In this garden, I tested with the RTK antenna, other robotic mowers, and they did not work very well because the garden is located in a hollow and we have a lot of trees around. We are going to select the working area, the cutting height, which can be adjusted from 25 millimeters up to 70 millimeters. We can also manage the mowing angle and, of course, the mowing mode. We have zigzag mode or grid mode. Perimeter tour, we will put just one, and we have three object detection modes. If we disable it, the robot will detect only with its bumper and the standard mode with the camera. Here, it is no problem for the robot. It climbs a fairly steep slope without difficulty. We can modify live the forward speed and the cutting height. We also have FPV mode. Here we see the camera live. Everything that is tree, shrub, the robot will detect them and it will go around them easily, easily. If on the other hand, you have a trampoline or a swimming pool in the middle of your garden, you can easily outline it and tell it not to access it. Now we can also adjust the blade rotation speed. 
minimum speed, it makes less noise, and in strong mode, we hear that it spins much more. Practical in spring when the grass is thick. For now, it manages easily, and I can tell you that it climbs. It climbs a lot. Even there, it is quite severe. The slope, the nice little bump, it manages quite easily. And here, just to see the small step. Up. Below five centimeters, it passes. As soon as it is a bit too much, unfortunately, it will not pass. On the other hand, if I go a little to the right, if there is only two or three centimeters, that is more than enough. The robot manages to pass. We can also program mowing at fixed intervals. That is to say, it will mow every three or four days, for example. When it rains, you can tell it not to mow because it has a rain sensor. Or we can do mowing manually each time. Press here and start. If you are not very smartphone oriented, we can also tell it to mow directly with the buttons here. We even have a new feature, which is the distance relative to the edge. We can tell it, for example, to mow a little closer to the edge. I will let the robot mow behind me, all this part of the garden, and I will come back in a day or two. And it is the first mower with Trifusion navigation. It can have three positioning systems. On this new model, we also have a chip twice as powerful. That will allow better recognition of animals, objects, obstacles. We see behind me the lines. There was not really any particular issue. It has rained a lot these last days. The garden is soaked, but that did not prevent it from mowing throughout the slope. We see the rear cleats, which are still quite full of earth, but that does not prevent it, as I told you, from mowing well in the end. Underneath, it is not catastrophic. From above, we can see that in fact, the deck is not completely flat. The finish behind me is there. Here we are in the middle of winter, the garden is soaked, we have a lot of trees around, and it is ultra precise. We can see some small marks, but it did not damage the garden too much. When the robot reaches 15% battery, it will recharge automatically, and then it resumes exactly where it stopped. Unfortunately, I had to do the test in the middle of winter, so the grass will not grow back. I find that the mowing result is much better in spring or in autumn, when there are no leaves. Here is the mowing with the Luba 2X, which has two decks, which is exactly the same with nice stripes. Really, the mowing quality at Mamotion is always there. For example, here, we have a lot of roots. If we raise the cut a bit, it poses no problem. It manages well. We are going to directly test it at night to see if it manages to locate itself. I just launched the robot at night. We can see the laser beam of the LiDAR. I just put an obstacle right in the middle, and we are going to see its reaction. Damn, it's really incredible. Wow, even there. And for now, the precision is really there. I am mapping, and what I find great is that we are not obliged to go back to the charging station every time after creating a zone. You certainly know it. We can make several zones with this robot and we are going to see if the precision is present when we make a passage from one zone to another zone. Second zone completed, and there, I made a passage of one meter. That can be the width of a gate, for example, to see if each time it passes at the same place or not. And now, it will cross. We had centered as much as possible in the middle, so it is validated. It is really ultra precise. The strengths and weaknesses of the Luba 3 AWD. The first you saw it, it is ultra precise. We can also add the RTK antenna, if you wish. The installation also, which is very fast, even for a person who is not very smartphone oriented. We also have no positioning problem. The robot always worked well, even at night. It will be suitable for difficult gardens. As you saw, 80% maximum slope. These front shock absorbers, which allow it to adapt well to bumps, holes, roots, for example. The wide cut also of 40 centimeters, which is a big strength. It will be guaranteed three years. The application is easy and intuitive. It is updated regularly. It will also be quite quiet. And we will be able to manage the blade rotation speed. Object detection is also flawless. It detects almost everything. We have very good autonomy. I will let you look at the characteristics. You will be able to see that by clicking on the link in the description. And we can, of course, program it. And that, that changes everything. Honestly, for now, I don't find that there are many disadvantages. Small disadvantage, 
maybe it will not shred leaves unless we make it pass maybe several times because there, with two passes, it still reduced the leaves a bit. For me, I think it is one of the best robots currently on the market. I still have the version from two years ago and it still works very well. I also recommend it if you have a flat garden and if you hesitate between the Luba 2X or the Luba 3. If the garden is rather open, without too many trees, the RTK antenna should work. Why not go for the Luba 2? And if you have obstacles that you are afraid the antenna will not work well, then without hesitation, the Luba 3. If you want to know the price of this new robot, you have the link in the description and you can benefit from a 50 euro discount on your first order. If you have any question, I answer you during the day. I translate my videos. It takes me a lot of time. To support me, do not hesitate to give a thumbs up and to subscribe. I mainly talk about robotic mowers. Come on, ciao ciao.